In this video, you will learn how to view and manage accounts receivable invoices in Opera Cloud. Let's get started. First, let's transfer any front office guest ledger invoices settled with the AR direct bill payment method through to their respective AR accounts. AR direct bill settlement is often used when a company is accepting chargebacks for specific charges such as meals and accommodation for an employee. Go to Financials, Account Receivables, then select Direct Bill Transfer. To view a list of direct bill invoices ready for transfer into AR, click Search. Next, select an invoice to view the folio, manage invoice details, or go to the AR account. I can use this area to confirm the correct AR account is linked to the invoice and to verify the invoice charges against any purchase order received. In this example, I select the checkbox next to the invoices I want to transfer into AR, and then select Transfer Selected Invoices. If the direct billing invoices are not manually transferred, as in this example, then you can set up Opera Cloud to auto-transfer direct bill invoices during the end-of-day process. Next. Let's learn how to manage invoices in Accounts Receivable. First, to find the AR account, go to Financials, select Accounts Receivables, then select Manage Accounts Receivables. Click Search. Now, click the balance to open Manage Account Invoices for the AR account. Select the checkbox next to the invoice. Now I have the option to manage the invoice details, view the folio, edit the invoice, transfer, finalize, or apply a payment to the invoice. In this example, I select Apply Payment to settle the invoice. Next, I select the Method Magnifying Glass and select the payment method from the list. And then click Select. You can select to apply the payment as an unallocated payment to the AR account or to the oldest invoice. In this example, I select the option to apply the payment to the selected invoices. Now, enter the credit card number, expiration date, and the amount. Click Save Payment, and then click Post Payments. You can select the option to email or print a payment receipt, then select the report destination, and then click Process. Now you can see the invoice payment and the batch report successfully processed. Click Close. Now let's learn how to create an invoice. Click New. Create the invoice with the default information or I can change the invoice name, source, or market code in room class if needed. In this example, I leave the default values. Enter the price, then select the transaction code magnifying glass and select the code from the list. Then click Select. You can click Add Row to add more amounts to the invoice. Then click the green check mark to post the charge. Any additional taxes or charges are calculated and displayed. Then click Create Invoice. A new invoice for $100 is displayed in the AR account. Next, let's learn how to transfer this invoice. Select the checkbox next to the invoice and click Transfer. To find the AR account to transfer the invoice to, I can enter any search criteria and then click Search. Select the destination AR account from the list of results and then scroll down and click Select. Then click Transfer. Now, let's go to the Manage Account Invoices to confirm the invoice transferred to the destination AR account. Go to Financials, Account Receivables, and then select Manage Account Receivables. Click Search. Click the AR Account Balance. Now I see the invoice 9110 has been transferred to the corporate AR account, and the transferred column displays a check mark. Next, let's learn how to finalize an invoice. Once an invoice is finalized, you can no longer make adjustments to the invoice. Select the checkbox next to the invoices you want to finalize, and then click Finalize Invoice. Now I see finalized just below the invoice number. Finally, let's learn how to combine and compress multiple invoices into a single invoice. First, I select multiple invoices and then click Compress Invoices. Now, enter any information. In this example, I enter Thursday's invoices in the Supplement field. Then click Compress Invoices. 
Now the Parent Invoice folder icon displays next to the new Parent Invoice. I can click the plus sign to expand the Parent Invoice and view the compressed invoice details.